If you do not obey all commands, force will be used against you to take you into custody. Turn around, hands up, talk to the leg. Stop, 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 stop. Some stupid people think they have the ability to hijack a plane full of passengers, but what happens when their plan fails and they meet the law enforcement officers instead. Let's look at five such cases in this video. On October 2nd, 2022, during an American Airlines flight to Dallas, Texas, something unexpected happened. A 35-year-old passenger named Keith Deemer decided it would be a brilliant idea to send a distressing message to everyone on board using Apple's airdrop. This alarming action forced the pilot to divert the plane and immediately alert the authorities. Attention, passengers on plan is Albuquerque Police Department. I need everybody at this time to go ahead and place their hands on the top of their head. No, no, go to front, go to front. I need everybody to stay seated. Sorry, go ahead and keep your heads up. I need passenger Keith Deemer. Hands your head, stand up. Hands your head. At this time, hands in your Keith head. Deemer, I need you to stand up from your seat. I know you're sitting at 17F. Keith Deemer, I need you to stand up. I need you to step out to the center aisle. I need you to obey all commands given to you by the police. If you do not obey all commands, force will be used against you to take you into custody. Turn around, hands on the top of your head. Hands on your head. Don't touch anything. Put your hands on your head. Put hands on your head. Put your left hand on the top of your head. Do it now. Just a few minutes into their flight, Deemer sent a message to all the passengers warning them that he was going to blow up the plane with a bomb he had supposedly planted. The announcement sent a wave of panic through the cabin, with everyone looking around in fear and confusion. However, it soon turned out to be nothing more than a twisted joke. While some passengers might have sighed in relief, the police did not find it amusing at all. Dimer is slowly walking backward into a pair of handcuffs, facing the serious consequences of his horrible prank. Keep walking, keep walking, keep coming, he's going to pass. Hands up. Right here. Right there is good. Up right there. Keep your, your hands down. Your head. I want your right hand to go down behind your back, sir. Right hand only. Right behind your back, keep it right there. Right hand on top of your head. I'm out of the room, y'all take your police department. I'm going to be placing a set of handcuffs on you. My name is Sergeant Walter. Go ahead and place your other hand behind your back, please. Let me double lock these real quick.
With Deemer off the plane, the remaining passengers were asked to deboard, allowing authorities to conduct a thorough search of the aircraft. To everyone's relief, nothing suspicious was found. Keith Deemer was subsequently charged with conveying false and misleading information and interfering with a flight. If found guilty, he could face up to 25 years in prison. From American Airlines, let's move on to Frontier Airlines, where a man was arrested for threatening to stab flight passengers with a knife. But before we move on to the next case, please hit that like button. On November 11th, 2022, a Frontier Airlines flight heading to Tampa had to make an emergency landing in Atlanta. Authorities detained a man, 42-year-old William Liebisch, after he allegedly threatened passengers with a box cutter. Liebisch's erratic behavior during the flight prompted the emergency diversion to Atlanta's Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport. Once the plane landed, officers swiftly evacuated the passengers and apprehended Liebisch, ensuring the safety of everyone on board. Before the emergency landing, one of the passengers overheard William saying he was going to stab someone on the plane. Alarmed, the passenger immediately alerted the flight attendants. The situation escalated quickly, and the crew took the threat very seriously. In the end, William had no one to blame but himself for the chaos he caused. However, that didn't stop him from complaining about the handcuffs now securely fastened around his wrists. Despite his grumbling, it was clear to everyone that his own reckless words had led to this mess. Okay, I will fix them. Yeah, after them. you rip my this off, man. I'm trying to fix it, relax. So, you yeah, see her fixing it, she's fixing it real good, ain't she? Come on, man. Hey, man, what's my Relax. Man, what's wrong with you, man? God. Okay. Um, can I have my, that's my phone. Just my phone right there. Okay, we'll get your phone. Uh, that's the weirdest William Liebisch was then escorted off the plane and surrounded by law enforcement officers. He was charged with interfering with the duties of a flight crew and carrying a weapon aboard an airplane. Despite any protestations, he ultimately pled guilty to the charges against him. As a consequence, he was sentenced to a daunting 30 months behind bars, followed by an additional three years of supervised release. Fortunately, William admitted to his mistake, but in this case, our suspect goes insane, screaming that the devil was speaking to him. On June 4th, 2021, a 43-year-old man named Aziel Norton tried to break through the pilot door on a flight from Los Angeles to Nashville over the weekend. Norton hurried to the front of the plane out of the blue and slammed the door to the flight deck hard. Why you ask? Well, we don't know, but according to Norton, he was angry. So angry that he even pushed a flight worker who tried to help him. In an instant, the situation got worse and other passengers had to step in to calm and restrain Norton. Thankfully, they moved quickly and correctly, making sure that everyone on board was safe. <laughs> Yeah, we need to get his legs pushed into the back. I got him right here. I got him right here. Are you done? 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 Are you done
Fortunately, the passengers and flight crew were able to restrain him by working together, which kept everyone on board safe. They calmly and firmly led Norton to the back of the plane. Norton claimed he was hearing voices in his head, asking for the plane to be grounded out of fear for his life. He said this while looking very upset. All the commotion and loud noise quickly caught the pilot's attention. Realizing anything could have happened, he made the quick decision to land the plane at the nearest airport, which at that moment was Albuquerque. When the plane landed, the authorities were already ready to handle the problem. I don't know what happened when I came in flight. I was sitting right, standing right here, started banging on the door, and said, I need to, we need to land the plane. So I was talking to him for a little bit, and then he just kept banging on the door. Okay. And then I gently pushed him away, and he pushed me. Okay. And that's when I put him to the door. Oh, okay. was he, what was he? So if he was yeah, trying, he was trying, yeah, he was trying from, uh, uh, put the zip ties on his, uh, hands and feet. Okay. He's yeah. all the way in the back. Okay. Is he okay. I have no idea. We just, um, I can talk to the we, back. We needed like 10 people to restrain him. Yeah, yeah. Was, it was, yeah. And so, and then he kept yeah. saying, every time we were watching, rushing him back, he still kept saying, we need to land the plane, we need to land the plane. So, okay. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. Did the passenger did the passenger jump you all? Yeah, okay. All right. Well, he, he's been yelling here and there, right? Right? Yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Apparently, he's going to tell you how he feels. As soon as the pilot told the cops what happened on the plane, the cops knew it was time to get to work. Norton, who was about to meet the long arm of the law, was restrained severely by the officers. They walked up to Norton to detain him for questioning. This yellow one that they have on here, okay? So it should snap off. Well, sit up. What did you stand? Come on, go ahead and push yourself up. If you need help, we'll help you, okay? Come on, we got you. Yeah, we got you a little bit. Go ahead and sit down up as much as you can. Uh, all right. 
Try to get your feet under you. One, two, three. Look up, look up, buddy. All right. All right, spin around, sit. Norton was placed in a holding cell after correctly being placed in handcuffs. In what appeared to be an effort to hijack a flight, he had been successful in disrupting the flight. The chaos that he caused was so severe that the Federal Bureau of Investigation had to get involved. As a consequence of this, they came in to have a conversation with Norton on their own, intent on getting a grasp of the disturbing actions he had taken. What I'm going to ask you, Mr. Norton, is what happened on the flight. What, what happened that uh, this whole incident transpired? Well, what happened was uh, I got onto a plane, and on the plane, I realized that everything is a video game. Mm -hmm. And that I had been hypnotized by friends into believing that it was a video game. Mm -hmm. And so I thought. I thought, I thought that, I thought the devil was going to rape me. Okay. And it's either take a choice between the devil raping me or going insane. Right. And so, or at least pretending to go insane. So I thought, then I thought I wanted to be raped. And so I thought, what is the worst outcome? And I thought the worst outcome was for the devil to rape me forever. But then I thought that by thinking that, I had, and then I'd not choosing that, that'd be out of weakness. And so I chose to go with charging the pilot quarter. Well, what, were you intending on hurting yourself or hurting anybody in the plane? Was that my intention to hurt anybody in the plane? Yes. It was not. It was not? No. Are you intending on hurting yourself or anybody right now? Satisfied with their investigations, the Bureau decided to charge Aziel Norton with interfering with a flight attendant while they were performing their duties. Apart from this, if found guilty, Norton could face up to 20 years in prison. The severity of the potential sentence reflects the seriousness of his offense and the risks posed to the safety of the flight. The cloud is going to see me. Hmm? I put the money in Charlie in the county. You go into the city, and then oh. that's, but that's, you know, they, they combine oh. the city and the county, okay? Now let's look at another case where a woman was caught carrying a gun at the airport, but there's a twist to it. On August 26, 2021, TSA agents at Cleveland Hopkins International Airport noticed something suspicious. In the routine screening process, they discovered that 33-year-old Laurel Levant was carrying a concealed pistol in her purse. Acting swiftly, the TSA immediately alerted the police, setting off a series of events that would ensure the safety of everyone at the airport. I would have never brought it. Can I see my phone? Could you just settle, settle down for a moment, okay? I'll talk to you in a minute, okay? For some reason, Levant forgot that her 380 caliber Taurus was in her bag and brought it into the airport by accident. When she realized how bad her mistake was, she started to freak out. She knew she could be in a lot of trouble because of what was going on. The only way to get out of this situation was that she had to show her concealed carry guns permit. She hoped that this would be enough to explain her mistake and keep her out of more trouble. So you have any carry concealed weapon permit? 
I, it's registered. I went to the store and I got... Let me ask you something. Do you have a carry concealed weapon permit? No, no. Okay. You have the right to remain silent, okay? Anything you say can and will be used against you in court, okay? You have the right to have an attorney present. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you free of charge. You got the right to remain silent. Please don't take me to jail, sir. Listen to what I'm saying, okay? okay. So, you, you understand your rights? Yes, yes, I understand. Okay, you're right over. At this point, you're going to be under arrest, okay? For CCWs, current concealed weapon, okay? I know, but I didn't mean it. I took it out of my garage. Let me tell you. I okay? know, There's I know. There's nothing we can do about this, okay? Oh, I'm scared to go to jail. There's no, there's no, there's no, other, there's no other way around this, thing, okay? I don't want to go to jail. Just, I can prove it's in my listen, name, I already, I already told you, okay? Oh, I wouldn't have did that. It, it, it's not about me. That's the rule. This is a federal point over here, okay? Oh. Ohio passed a law called Constitutional Carry. This law lets certain people carry a gun without a permit. The law was made by Senate Bill 215, which was signed by Governor Mike DeWine. Even though a permit is no longer needed, there are still other legal conditions and limits that must be followed. People must be at least 21 years old and not be against state or federal law to own a gun. They must also follow all the rules about where guns can and cannot be handled. Unfortunately for Levant, at the time of her arrest, it was still illegal to carry a concealed weapon without a CCW permit in the state of Ohio. Levant was well aware of this fact, and she knew exactly what it meant for her. As the officers approached, the reality of her situation sank in. She had just scored herself a one-way ticket to jail. What else do you have? Do you have anybody else with you? She can leave. It's okay. Can she take your stuff or you want to keep your stuff? I want to keep it. She got to okay. get her flight. Let her know that you're going to go to jail today, okay? Right. I'm going to jail. What is that damn door? No. It's called you CCW. Don't... It's carrying concealed weapon, okay? You gotta turn around. Okay? Oh my god. Uh -huh. I took it out of my garage and took the picture and just locked it away. To lock up my house and forgot it in my purse. I was rushing. I locked my room up because my sister in there. What's up, Jesus? She had a so if I had a CCW, I won't go to jail. You still would be charged, but you wouldn't go to jail if you had that permit. Levant, who was already restrained and on her way to jail, spent the next few minutes desperately attempting to make up the mistake that she was responsible for. During her appeal to the cops, she explained her activities in the hope that they would understand her viewpoint on the matter. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm about to lose my career. Hey, uh, we're gonna walk. What's that? We're gonna walk yeah. all the way to the office. Yeah. All right. Oh my God, y'all. Yeah, let's I don't walk. Know who's on top. Let's walk to the office. Sorry, but I'm scared of jail. Sorry, I ain't never did nothing bad. I got that good because it's my neighborhood. <laughs> I want to never do that. I'm scared of the police. I don't want to go there. Why are you scared of police? I'm not you. I'm, oh, okay. You know what I'm scared for. What? This is the thing, okay? I'm really this scared. Is, I'm that so point scared. that you came across, that's a federal point, okay? I'm going it's to not, federal jail. Listen, no, listen to what I'm saying. That's a federal point right there, okay? So it's not just the police that you're dealing with. It's with the federals, too, okay? So the feds going to come get me? They will talk to you. Oh. They will talk to you. But it's in my name. Is that okay? Yeah, everything is okay, but you came with a weapon I know, but through a federal point. Do that's you that's a dilemma. No, you're going to jail right now. But you will go just the county. Then once you talk to the judge, they might give you a bond and you come out and then you deal with it, okay? Did y'all ever hear something like this? How old are you? 
Levant was clearly upset about the idea of going to jail. Tears filled her eyes when she tried to make her point, and her voice shook. She was sorry, but it was too late. No matter how much she begged and pleaded, nothing could change what would happen. The choice was final, and she had to deal with the results of what she did. How do you forget that? Listen, so my sister in my house, right? She's yeah. still right. Mm -hmm. I took it out the box and put the clip in there and paused and locked it in my room because I mm -hmm. got a lock on my room mm -hmm. and I forgot it in my purse. Uh, but that small purse and you didn't check that? I've got a lot going on. I was oh, rushed and I didn't goodness. want to go away. Sorry about that. The parents going to try to come get me. They go, do know you I'm a good soy. They about to ruin my name. I'm sorry that this happened to you. Yeah, we have these issues over here. Some people have their carry of concealed permits, so we don't arrest the person. Oh. We just do the report, <laughs> we take the gun, and then they gotta deal with the rest. When they do not have one, I then we have to... my name. Yeah, that's so okay. Scared. That's not a problem. It's just that permit that makes the difference of going to jail or not. That's all it is. It's not that it's gonna avoid the issue, no. It's just the issue of going to jail or not. That's a simple thing. I get a felony. It's a felony. It is? Mm-hmm. Can I fight it? Yes, of course. She didn't fight it. Laura Levant pleaded guilty to breaking the concealed carry laws. Accepting her fate, she consented to give up her pistol and pay the legal fees that were linked with the situation. As a result of the circumstances, her time served in jail was excluded from her sentence. Let's now look at the case of an annoying woman who snuck into the plane after she was denied entry because she was 45 minutes late. On July 10th, 2022, at the Spirit Terminal of Miami International Airport, all passengers had just boarded a flight headed to Detroit, Michigan. As everyone got comfortable in their seats, Spirit flight workers saw a woman trying to get on the plane 45 minutes after it was supposed to leave. She chose to do something about it herself when she was turned away. Outside the plane, she snuck on, pushing past flight attendants and even jumping over other people to get to her place. The flight attendants told their boss right away because the woman said she would hurt someone if they didn't take off. As she made her threats worse, saying she would make the captain fly the plane, police were quickly called. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just, I just woke up. Like just like you guys, I walk in with you guys. Uh, for what I understood, I just rushed in. Um, the agent went to close the door, and there was one that was sitting on the flight and was refusing even to move. Philly, is uh, Stephanie, uh, Stephanie inside? They said that already. Who's doing chief? He's inside. He's inside. He's inside. He's inside the pool. Uh, I just let me just go in because I think was one that was refusing uh, getting out. It's disgusting how much this woman acts like she deserves better. She wants to get off the plane when everyone else does too. She is so stubborn that no matter how many times the crew asks her to change her mind, she refuses. Her refusal doesn't go away, which causes a tense standoff that ends with the cops stepping in. Because of one person's rude behavior, this means that everyone on board will have to get off the plane, which will mess up their trip plans. Everybody else. 
finish against you for trespassing. Okay, yeah. So can you hear I mean, that? guess what? I'm going to beat the case because I'm not trespassing. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, we're going to have to complain everybody. Oh, 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 she openly tells people who are watching her that they should follow her on Instagram. Okay, let's go. Let's move. My boarding pass is the same flight as everybody else. What do you mean? The fuck? That's dumb as f***. They just want to have an attitude because they're miserable. They're miserable with their life. There's nothing for you to say. What is there for you to say? Like I said, y'all want to make my life hard, make everybody else's life hard. No, not at all. I want to go home. I don't even live here. The f***. That's real, this right. y'all weird. All right. But y'all mad because y'all right. really can't do anything. You sound like make everybody get off and everybody get back on. <laughs> you gotta wait till everybody get off. Yeah. New, new hope plane. It's cool. I already sent my dad the information. Yeah, everybody getting off. Y'all too. What? You can go. Let's go. You go in front of me. And she gonna go behind me. And she's going too? behind me. No, okay. I don't mind. All right. Clearly. Alright, let's go. You're not let's going go. behind me though. Ma'am, let's go. You can go and I will go behind you. Go ahead. You're not walking behind me, period. Ma'am, let's go. I don't trust you. I don't trust yes, please I, record. I you, Thank you. I'll give you this. Um uh, my Instagram is Send it to me so I can send it to my daddy. Upon exiting the plane, she carried on arguing, her voice rising in frustration as she tried to make her point. However, as the heated exchange continued, it seemed she was inadvertently talking herself into a pair of handcuffs. They're making noise for him. That's illegal. I didn't do shit. I have everybody a tick like everybody else. Everybody hears out. Yeah, I have a tick like everybody else. What do you mean? It's fuck. It ain't all grounded. It's all grounded. Why y'all didn't have body cameras on? Why y'all didn't have body cameras on? 
Then y'all gonna suffocate me. This woman found herself in a heap of trouble, facing charges of disorderly intoxication and destruction of aircraft. The courtroom buzzed with anticipation as the judge announced her sentence. Instead of jail time, she was sentenced to probation. It was a sigh of relief for her, but a stern reminder of the consequences of her actions. YouTube algorithm thinks you will like this video the best. Watch and find out if it is right.